Once it's fully crushed, you have a perfectly installed rivet nut. Good job. What's up guys, it's Tom with Ferris Engineering and today we're going to be going over the install for the side splitters on your Toyota GR86. Alright, real quickly, you'll be receiving two side splitters, one for each side. You're going to get yourself a nice hardware kit included. And as for tools, we're going to need a drill, a 3 8 drill bit, 9 16 open-ended wrench, a ratchet of some sort, a marker of some sort and a four and five millimeter Allen hex key or socket. All right, a couple little quick uh, tidbits about the side splitter we're about to install. We have pretty generous cutouts on the front and rear uh, for the pinch weld portions. Um, again, they are pretty generous, but uh, still probably best practice to have your jack stand kind of in the center of the pinch weld as much as you can possibly do it. Now, I am gonna recommend that we do this in roughly three steps. You could, if you are really good at this type of thing, do it in one step, uh, or two steps, I should say, probably. Uh, but I recommend doing three. There's a lot of holes we have to drill, and if you get any one of them uh, slightly off or mark one of them slightly off, then uh, you know that's kind of it. So. What I'm going to recommend first is we simplify this as much as possible. We're basically just going to hold the side splitter up to the side skirt that's already on the car, or that's part of the car. Uh, you will see here that it does kind of cover, the, the OEM side skirt covers the pinch weld itself. We're going to take our side splitter and we're going to butt it up against the lip of that side skirt that's already on the car. So that's going to be your first step uh, in terms of lining it up, not actually mounting it. The next thing you want to want to do is make sure the front and rear are flush with the wheel wells. We have a little cutout here. I want to point out real quick. This cutout is going to be for this portion of, if I can get this thing to have a good, but you can see this little uh, contour here for the wheel well. Basically, the cutout on the side splitter is meant to clear that. And on the rear, you're gonna notice there's a bit of a triangular shape. There is a flat on the end. Make sure that is lined up with the edge of the wheel well. All right, so the, I guess, uh, first of the three steps that I wanna go over in order to get this thing marked and lined up uh, are basically, we're gonna mark the frontmost hole and the rearmost hole, and we're gonna use uh, those as our locations to install the first two rivet nuts. And once we do that, we can actually loosely bolt the side splitter up to the car, and then we can make all of our other uh, marks based off of that. And then we can begin to uh, basically drill all those holes and install the rivet nuts, and then essentially we'll be done. So to start, we're gonna, like I said prior, make sure the side splitter is on the inner edge flush with the, the pinch weld. And then we're gonna make sure that the leading edge of the side splitter is flush with the opening of the wheel well or the wheel arch, kind of like you could see, hopefully, right here. There's one hole that we need to mark here. That is going to be the frontmost hole. Make your mark. Make sure you actually made a mark. Once you've made your mark, you're gonna to wanna to drill that out uh, in the center. We do have slots on the side splitter to make install a little bit easier. However, uh, make sure you always drill on the center. Drill that out to 3 eighths of an inch, and then we're gonna go over the rivet nut install. All right, I moved the side splitter out of the way and uh, grabbed my drill. I'm going to drill this on center to 3 eighths of an inch. just like that, clean out any of these filings. Now that we have the hole drilled to three eighths of an inch, we can begin installing the rivet nuts with the included installer tool right here. So just a brief refresher for those of you who have not used anything like this before, 
Uh, this is a very rudimentary version of a rivet nut install tool. I am going to install these with the, a hand tool that I bought specifically for this. That's neither here nor there. So quickly, how we use this tool. We're gonna thread our rivet nut onto the end of the installer bolt that you will get in uh, your hardware kit. There is a, I guess this black portion here is the actual installer piece that will hold back the rivet nut and prevent it from turning as you install it. So we're gonna insert the rivet nut portion into the hole first. Make sure that this flange here is totally flush and that it's inserted all the way. We're gonna use a five millimeter Allen and begin turning this portion of the Allen bolt while holding back the black portion with a 9 16th wrench. You're gonna do that until you get some pretty significant resistance. And basically this portion here, you can see kind of the, the slits in it will allow this to crush. Once it's fully crushed, you have a perfectly installed rivet nut. Good job. All right, I just installed the rivet nut that we just talked about. Now what I'm going to do is bolt up the side splitter in the front. I'm gonna double check the mark in the rear um, and make any adjustments if I need to. I'm going to uh, mark it and then I'm gonna drill it and then I'm gonna install the rivet nut and then we'll come back to the side splitter loosely bolted up to the car, uh, which will give us uh, a nice opportunity to make all the other marks for all the other holes that need to be drilled so that we can install rivet nuts. All right, so I've got the side splitter loosely bolted up in the front and, front and rear. Um, you can see here. So what I'm gonna do now is um, mark all of the bolts or what I would recommend to you guys is to mark all of the bolt hole locations. And when we pull it back down, we will drill half of those holes and install rivet nuts into half of them. And then we'll bolt it back up. And then we'll make sure all of the holes still line up for the half that you did not drill. And once we verify that, take it back down. And then we will install the rest of the rivet nuts. So I'm gonna mark these out real quick, drill them, and then install all of the rivet nuts that need to be installed. All right, so we have all of our rivet nuts installed now. And what we're going to do is begin the final installation of the side splitter. And to do that, what, we're, what we wanna do is start all the bolts first, make sure they're all just loosely in there. And then we'll go ahead and do the final torque. So grab your M6 button head cap screws and your large fender washers and you're going to start all of the bolts that are not the forwardmost bolt. That one is going to take an 18 millimeter washer. It'll be the only smaller washer. Well, you'll have two uh, in the kit. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the install for the side splitters on the GR86. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, be sure to email us at sales at veristashengineering.com. Until next time.